Alright. I'm back. Let's go ahead and continue this here. Who's that? The big dude. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Of course it is. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith. I'm going to let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Who doesn't? Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. You look so upset. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! <laughs> I almost pressed. Well, I did press the wrong key. Could just swing around and get to cobble pot a different way. <laughs> Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. A big fan, two point three. Nice. I don't know why it bothers to still, tr still try to use the cloud save. I think sometimes it does actually work though. Stack deck, 6.26 p.m.
Is that Bruce Wayne? <laughs> you really think he'd show up here? You hear? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. You know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. I see. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. <sighs> Got like big footsteps. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something Selena about him. Selena won't remember that. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. You don't know what you're getting into. I can take him. I appreciate confidence in a man, but not stupidity. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie. The gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Oh boy. How do they know exactly where they're sitting? Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says, hello. Hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Gentlemen, please. Sit. Have a drink. Let's work this out like civilized people. We're done talking. Oh. 
Not done yet. The cues always get me, catch me off guard. Back to back. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Such a pretty boy. Come on, this way. Quick, check the alleyway. Check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Nice. Oh boy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'll take the rooftops. They're destined. Take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see so if there's anything the on the cuts phone on that his face. Use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they're in contact. Weird, the chapter times. ends before the uh, hills talking scene is even over. Know with. Something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but. If I may offer a word of advice, people look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Get him as Batman? Or go as... Bruce Wayne. Uh, let's go as Bruce. Bruce. Bruce is the smart choice. City Hall, 7.03 p.m. They still haven't fixed the glass window? <laughs> or the entire room? What?
Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir? Bruce Wayne? To see you? He'll be right out. I'm not waiting. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? Please, I have no animosity towards you. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, maybe I can make it right. Noble, but naive. It was so long ago, there's nothing left of the Cobblepot estate. Maybe if I could count on you as an ally, I could use the powers of my office to help you make reparations. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. <laughs> I don't need your hand. These choices, man. Not with your no voice way. on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. I would never stoop so low. My backbone doesn't have the bend. Let me put it this way. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. Oh, boy. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Man, things are starting to heat up. This kind of makes me want to go back and play uh, the Telltale, um, the Walking Dead games. I only played season one. I started season two. I never went past like episode two or three. I wonder what else. Is I love there. these types of games too, like where you get different choices. 
as per your request, kind of build your Lieutenant own Gordon story. has no tripled way. security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. Yeah, I never played past season two. I can't imagine how you must feel. I always I've wanted so to though. Much in so little time. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping ours. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll uh, leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist oh, that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. Him. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's, it's not exactly... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of kill, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid. I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public. But you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. I guess you could say that's a little two face. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. <laughs> I'm glad I took a chance on this, this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. 
I appreciate the sentiment, Jim. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Oh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Uh, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for dead, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. <laughs> First order of business. That's an interesting thing. Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Uh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. <laughs> Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Oh, Thank you for wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll nice get you pistol. started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. One. Whatever your name is. Call me Penguin. Yes, of course. Penguin. You can play your game. Just please let these people go. Penguin, it will be going on. Guns. They're gonna love that. The subject on everyone's mind is the new Wayne Mental Health Facility. The Art Mental Health Care Hospital. 
for treatment for the most unfortunate of citizens. Look at Stu, the old man. Maybe next time. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My gallant brothers and sisters of God, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that's moving your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Another one. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! It's gonna get rough here. Dead. Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we were friends. Our boys played together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. Damn. Now you know. Now you will see. Batman! You certainly know how to make an entrance. Please, I made a man. You could never. <laughs> 
Thomas Wayne, that, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. Oh, snap. They won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. How about you kill anyone else? Wait your turn, Dent. Damn. You made Bruce Wayne your biggest supporter, and he didn't yes. even turn up. <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started. It's too late to join. Let Dent go. And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> Oh boy. Where's the maniac in the mask? In my original playthrough, uh, I did the opposite. And he didn't become two faced. Or at least get become like that. Which is pretty crazy. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. I wanted to switch things up this time though and see what happened. That's crazy. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Crazy. Yep, we did ease his pain. You and 78 tried to get <laughs> You and 53 chose to visit as Bruce Wayne. Wow. It's always the higher. You and 91%. 8% said no. 
Did he try to slay Selena or Harvey? I always thought that was interesting. He chose Selena over Harvey. There it is. Another episode complete. And we have completely changed the fate Next time on Batman, now. the Telltale series. Part of me kind of wish, wishes I did save Ben You may instead. have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know don't these know. people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is... We're gonna roll with next? it, though, I guess. After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding. Not for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! There it is. Dating content. I guess it eventually goes through, just for some reason continues to fail beforehand. There's only, yeah, there's five episodes, so we're about halfway. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick